Hey guys, it's Acid Soul behind the microphone again, as I've promised, and to start this commentary, I'm happy to update you that the grind is going quite well for me at the moment, and I've managed to build up and maintain a nice agility routine. Been doing quite a bit of RD cores in order to fund this expensive Dorgish gun hobby of mine, but nonetheless, so far agility seems to suit my current mindset to this game, as recently I've perhaps with a little gleam in the eye liked to see grinding as some sort of an extension to introspective meditation and relaxing and I don't mean anything particularly mind-blowing with that, for me it's just about enjoying the feeling of being in control and trying to reach certain flow and a placid mood with the help of some music that corresponds to your emotions. That's just me, but yeah, I guess it's not healthy to excessively deep probe your thoughts alone, so as for this video I thought I'd share with you some RuneScape related matters that have been in my mind recently and being partially inspired by some comments on my previous videos, I'd like to focus on questions regarding competitive skilling and in particular, what makes somebody a good player or skiller. Well okay, as for me, the grinding and efficient gameplay have been present in my life only for less than 3 years or so, and I guess I've liked to take some sort of a position of an observer and a silent participant, so to speak. Because it's just all a relatively new phenomenon for me, and I've never really felt like being the authority who tells people how to play. However, this has never stopped me from developing my own insights on the matter, though. And speaking of which, I've always liked to interpret that grinding skills competitively has meant playing this game non casually as opposed to relying on the more easily approachable and widespread conventions such as PvP or PvM. And seemingly there's always been only so much that the game's own high scores can give for this subculture and as the self-aware inner circle of efficient players has always had to rely on its own appeal and moreover different external and arbitrary ways of comparing one skiller to another such as XP trackers and the concept of efficient hours played. I mean the game has never directly encouraged to play this way. The game engine just isn't responsive enough to work as an environment for perfect competition, I guess. This seems like a very important aspect to me because, in my opinion, it pushes the competition into more grinding-based direction, rendering the real-time micro-optimization slightly aside. But okay, to go further into my own interpretations about the competition and individual effort in general, I guess good skillers have plans and they succeed in them, but mostly I think an equal opportunity doesn't seem to apply among the top page community because people obviously come from such different real life backgrounds, for example. Somebody can be financially supported, whereas someone else has to go to work and study alongside, and it, it kind of raises a question, what is the most substantial or relevant factor when it comes to objectively comparing achievements between skillers? Is it EHP? Is it consistent gains? Intelligent utilization of game mechanics and updates? Prioritizing slow skills? Or players' mindsets relation to progress in general? Well, from what I can tell, these things all can be considered crucial, but naturally they are not and probably will never be perfect comparisons because, in my opinion, they are all more or less profoundly based on what is currently valued and what is not. Although, as for objectivity, the concept of efficient hours played, the EHP seems generally to be the least bad parameter among the many others. At least that is what I mostly think and have heard from others. Nonetheless, as you can always argue whether the EHP XP rates are balanced or not and what is their relation um, to real life aspects, by all means feel free to share your thoughts on the matter. But to get back to my original topic, what makes somebody a good skiller? I think that the key issue in finding ways to distribute value and respect among top players is the previously mentioned statement of mine that the prestige of competition is more or less based on arbitrary values and opinion 
Us taking the game somewhat seriously to a certain extent. Personally, during my time in a top-notch skilling clan, I've many times seen when this kind of mm, semi-unregulated racing towards ranks and recognition has been pretty much bound to cause debates and certain elitism inside el elitism. I'd say that's all been just a natural outcome that has only strengthened people's morals about this game. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. At any rate, my point is that pretty much what can be neutrally said about this comparison between players is just relative. You could name only certain virtues that make somebody good as a skiller. But exactly what are these virtues then? Well, in my subjective opinion, I guess I like to think that the mental effort of long-term challenge and competition against yourself rise generally above the technical details, no matter if you were going for individual 200 mils or to max everything. However, certain technical details like an excessive use of ancillary such as out hotkeys or alts wouldn't shine as brightly in my eyes, I guess. But uh, about out hotkeys, well they kinda uh, help the mental performance in certain skills, but due to the uh, grindy nature of this game, I kinda approve them, but if you use them excessively, whatever that then means, like more than one-to-one -one ratio use, then I guess I don't approve it. But nonetheless, I have no trouble admitting that my personal approach to these virtues, whatever you want to call them, might seem somewhat naive and highly subjective, I guess, because I tend to mostly consider many commonly relevant aspects ridiculously non-essential. Call it aberration, if you will, but that's just how I've found my peace with these things. Mm, yeah, like I've hinted earlier, what makes somebody a good skiller, in my subjective opinion, is well, it mostly has to do with the mindset and balancing out things in general. I think the virtues of a good player could be things that I've talked about a lot in my previous videos. Like, mm, the best players are generally efficient, they probably consider both real life and in game factors equally. They set goals and they are eventually successful with them, they probably want to be aware of what they can do and what they can't do, as they obviously don't want to burn out or lose their desire to their thing, remaining in control, simply. And also the self-perception should be pretty important, because it's all about how the player sees himself in relation to others. Good players ought to be, in my opinion, more or less uh, consciously aware of the nature of their desire to grind, whether they pledge to humility or ambition, maybe. I guess good players know which strategy suits them better and gives them the steadiest foundations to keep going. Motivation of humble players could be based on the satisfaction of regularly winning themselves, and on the other hand, ambitious players could be driven by the need to regularly get better in relation to others. Nevertheless, knowing yourself shouldn't at least hurt, and I guess it's not mm, ultimately that black and white, so a good player probably could find the golden mean being something in between humble and ambitious, or something more, I don't know. Well, what are they chose? These are that, I guess, the best of the best players need to be ready to adapt to constantly varying environments. Maybe it means adjusting your real life engage engagements to match the energy that being a good player requires, or perhaps it means being ready to or readiness to change your plans if the game and its most efficient available methods change. Also, it could mean good enough self esteem to be able to accept criticism. Well, okay, there was some things that I find respectable myself. The comments on my previous video would have probably required me to answer them in a bit more detailed way, but I can't just help my current mindset to this game. I just want to keep on relaxing in my peculiar ways and not to worry about macro efficiency too much and not to take this game too seriously in general enjoyment above everything else. 
Also, I feel that I've already made my case and views rather clear in my previous videos, so as of now I can't think about anything else to add to this particular topic, but in case if I'm totally missing something, feel free to comment and I'll try to give my take on it. But as for final conclusions of what I've said on this video, well, RuneScape is not a perfect environment for competition, I guess, but the aspects of com long term commitment and the possibility of intelligent use of what we've got makes it all a worthy adventure to learn about the importance of commitment, the possibility of establishing communities of like minded people, and persistence in general. This is just how I see these things, these are not absolute truths, but to these vague words I shall conclude this commentary for now, thanks for watching, keep up the grinding mentality, and I hope to see you soon in another video.